guys welcome back to my channel so I am about to feed and water my garden um, this is stuff that Ashley told me to get it's the liquid feed all-purpose twice as big so um, I have done it once already and we're gonna do it again because you do it every seven to fourteen days I'm gonna be gone this week from Monday to Thursday to go to Cedar Rapids for work so I'm gonna go ahead and do this before I leave and then um, when I get back hopefully they will my plants will still look good which Gotham will take care of them he takes good care of them but still shower let's put it on water let's unlock it so that it's not spraying everywhere where I'll go turn on the water so this one's kind of cool because it's if you've never garden before it's really easy to like over feed your plants and it can sometimes burn them um so that's why Ashley told me to get this kind because it mixes with the water as you're feeding them which is good um and you just turn this little thing whether you want just water or if you want feed in water um but yeah let me show you the pool because Swayze literally we had it up we had just gotten in it yesterday and Swayze poked a hole in the top ring so we patched it, but the patch doesn't seem to have held very well. Um, so I'll show you guys the state of our pool this morning. I want to get one of those, um, what are they called? Uh, you get them at like Tractor Supply. They're the big like metal pools. I'll put a picture if I can't remember the name. Um, they're like the big trough things and people use them as pools. So I really want to get one of those until we get our in-ground pool. But... This is the state of our pool, which the kid got to use yesterday, and it's fine. We maybe we'll try to repatch it because I think that that's what happened to it. Um, is the patch just didn't hold? But yeah, Swayze did that within like five minutes of us having the pool up. So there's that. And these are the bane of my existence. These Japanese beetles. Ugh, they're all over my plants. They're killing and eating my plants, and I don't know how to get rid of them. If you do, let me know. But anyway, I'm gonna go water the plants. What's really nice about this uh, thing is that you can take this off, the feed off, and it will just be the hose. So you can actually just water with this and leave it on there, which is what I have been doing. I did take it off yesterday to hook it up to our mister while we were ha hanging out out here, but perfect. All right, today is Father's Day, so I'm having my family over mom and dad. And then my aunt and uncle that are like my other mom and dad. They're coming over as well. So I'm going to go in, wash up, and cook some breakfast pizza for everyone. Um, I went ahead and cooked all the meat this morning. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and get the oven preheating because they're going to be here in like 45 minutes, I'm gonna get the oven preheating and then put the pizzas together and then, what is going on with my head? Why is it so red? I have no idea. Um, and then I also made, well I didn't make, but I put together, I'm gonna put together a little um, strawberry shortcake board. So I, I put the strawberries in the fridge with some, with some sugar to let them start macerating and then I um, went ahead and cut up the pound cakes and put strawberries and I'm gonna have uh, whipped cream and some chocolate syrup. That is gonna be breakfast today. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get to doing that. And you guys have seen me make breakfast pizza before. Um, 
in another video. So I'm not gonna show you the whole process again, but I'll show you guys when it's done. Also behind me, as you can see over here, our Pretty For A Big Girl podcast sign came in. Um, I am a little disappointed because it is like hella pixelated, which as a graphic designer, I feel like that was a fail on my part. Um, but it doesn't look pixelated from far away. So I'm hoping once we get it on the wall and we're filming that it won't look pixelated, but it's here at least. So there's that. Um, other than that, I'm going to do a ton of laundry today, pack my suitcase. Um, I did get a new suitcase and I got some packing cubes. So maybe I'll, I'll pack with me um, for my work trip. I'm going to really, really try hard to only take a carry on. Gotham does not think I can do it, but I'm going to try really hard to only take a carry on because I'm only gonna be there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday for four days and it's a work trip. So I don't need like a whole bunch of outfits. I just need to like outfit store every day for work. Um, so that is the plan. And I went ahead and got all my travel stuff yesterday. Got some like set everything out for me because he's adorable. So he set all of my travel stuff out over here, which is really sweet. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna finish my coffee and get to cooking. Look, these are the tomatoes that I've already pulled off of my tomato plants and letting them finish ripening but they're delicious hi you guys so the last time that i checked in with you was sunday before i left for my trip and today it's friday i'm back home so i went to cedar rapids for the week for work it was the first time getting to like meet my team officially and um it was just really busy so i didn't take the camera but i'm going back this coming week as well. So I'll be there Monday through Thursday like I was this week. But I had ordered this suitcase off of Amazon uh, because I didn't want to take like a checked bag. I just wanted to take a carry on because I'm only going for like three full days. Um, and I just didn't want to pack a whole bunch of stuff because it's just for work and like I just wanted to take my work clothes and call it a day. So this one is a little like interesting because you don't, it doesn't zip in the middle, it zips in the front. Um, I hated it. I absolutely hated it. I'm going to send it back because it was quite expensive. Um, but it just would like stop rolling in the middle of like walking down like the, the airport. And you know how people are in a hurry at the airport and like they don't want you to stop in front of them. And I would have to like stop and like get the wheels to go again. So literally while I was on my trip, I ordered this one, which is much, much lighter one. Um, it does have the traditional zip in the middle. It's Kenneth Cole, so it has this nice design on it. So I figured it'd be easy for me to pick it out because, you know, it is with a black suitcase. They all look the same. So I still made like tie like a ribbon or something on it just so I know it's mine because they do end up gate checking these most of the time because I'm on really small planes. Um, so yeah, that literally hated this, hated this suitcase. So sending it back. Plus it's white. They it got like I took it on one trip and it's like. All dirty. Um, so I got that, and then I do have a backpack that I like from Amazon, but um, I just felt like I wanted like more of like a briefcase feel, like like a bag, which is what I'm used to. But I wanted a bag that would had the like trolley handle thing that it slides on here. So I ordered one from White Elm. I think it's called. I don't know. It's supposed to be in here. Monday, so I won't get to take it on this trip, but I'll have it for future trips. Um, but yeah, so that is that is the story. And I'm also trying to like really pare down on what I take with me um, as far as like toiletries and makeup and all that kind of stuff. So I don't need to do a full glam beat for work, you know. So, um, but other than that, it was a good trip. Flights were good. I did get delayed, like hella delayed, on my way there. Um, so I'm hoping that, well, actually I have really long layovers this time, like really long, like four hours in the airport. Um, uh, but it's okay cause it's during work hours. So I'll just work while I'm sitting in the airport. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to like, I've already put all my clothes in the wash from this week and I'm going to go ahead and take all the stuff that I took out of that suitcase that I know I'm taking with me in this suitcase. Um, but yeah, so it's Friday morning took my B12 shot so I have a lot of energy um, and it is time for me to go and log on to work. So that's what I'm going to do and I'll check in with you guys later. I have some like ground beef defrosting. I don't know if I'm going to cook today or if we'll just like go out to dinner because we'll have the kids tonight. So um, I'm not sure what we're going to do but 
that is where I have been. That is what's going on. But you will get a weekend vlog. So there's that. Also, uh, that pool that I ordered ended up like leaking terribly. Um, so we're sending it back and we've got a replacement one. I think it was just defective. So we're sending it back and put replacement one. Um, but yeah, so that's what's happening. I do have a ton of stuff from Amazon that I need to haul. So I may do film a haul this weekend as well. Um, but yeah, so that's what's going on. Just wanted to check in with you guys. It's been like five days since I picked up the camera because I didn't take it with me. But anyway, it's weekend time. Well, almost weekend time. Just gotta get through today and then it's weekend time. So I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Hi guys, so I am getting ready to pack for another week, well not a full week, Monday through Thursday in Cedar Rapids. And I have a ton of Amazon stuff that has been piling up that I have been meaning to haul for you guys. So I figured I would just do one of these like casual, I'm going to try everything on because I'm gonna, I was going to try it on anyway as I pack some of it because some of it's work stuff. Um, so I am going to go ahead and show you guys what I got. So this is the first little lounge outfit. I got this little cropped sweater material um, set and then it comes with these shorts. This is so comfy, you guys. Um, I saw it on the, the model and I was like, oh, that looks really cute. And I was like, mm, I think I need it. So I love the color of it. It does have pockets um, and I just think this is really cute. It's really cozy and it's sweater material, but it's not super thick, so it's not hot. Um, and I love that it is shorts, so. This is the number one look. Obviously, this is not for work, but I got it anyway. Um, so there's some um, shorts and stuff in here for some like casual outfits as well. So I'll show you that. Did I get any shoes? I feel like I got some sneakers, but I'll have to find them because they're not with my other Amazon stuff. But here's look number one. Very cute. I think I got it in a 2X, but all you guys know. I'll link it. I'll link my Amazon shop below and put the sizes so you guys can shop. Very cute. Off to a good start. All right, here is the next look, and it's I've worn this actually, so I had it laid out so I could show you guys. These are um, a size 18 shorts. Um, I love the length of them. They are super stretchy and comfortable, um, and I just really, really wanted some black shorts. They have pop all the pockets, um, and then I just got this little tank with these ruffles to wear with it. Um, I just thought that this was really cute on the figure so it's like cinching in at the waist um i just think this is a really cute outfit i did find the shoes too i did get some sneakers so when i try on a look that i think will look really cute with those i'll try those on as well but i can show you just got some plain white sneakers they're really cute um so yeah this is the second look and i got the shirt i got the pant the shorts in an 18 for sure um, and I'm not sure what size I got in the shirt, but I'll link it. Um, it does have like a distressed hem, like an unfinished hem. Um, and so they won't like roll up, you know what I mean? So I really, really like these shorts and the shirt actually. I think it's cute. So moving on. All right, here is the first work look. So it is these animal print pants. Well, not even really animal print. They're like polka dot, but they give an animal print vibe. Um, and then just black bodysuit. So I have a ton of bodysuits, but I realized that I don't have very many plain black ones. And I like to wear a statement pant. And sometimes you just need a black bodysuit to go with that. This does have pockets and it does have a tie that you can kind of cinch it in if you want to. Um, but these are super comfortable. I love the length of them. So I'm 5'3", and I could wear these with flats and be just fine. Um, you could put on a blazer over this if you wanted to. Um, but I think this is really, really cute. So this one is definitely going in the suitcase for me to wear this week in cedar. So really cute. Love it. Love it, love it. Okay, so I'm kind of shocked, but these are pants are Dickies brand. I've never owned anything Dickies brand in my life, I don't think. Um, but they're like super comfortable. Um, they like feel amazing quality, which I know Dickies is a good brand. Uh, but I know you guys, 
No, I love to wear my shirts tucked in. I like to show off the curves and like cinch in my waist, but I've gotten a lot of comments that you wanted options that you did not have to tuck in. So I specifically went and picked out outfits that you did not have to tuck in for a couple of the looks today. So this is look number one. So these are just some black or maybe they're navy. It might be a really dark navy, but either way. Um, Dickies pants. Again, they were pretty good length. I could wear these with flats and get away with it. And then this little shirt, which desperately needs some wrinkle release. Um, but it is just a little cap sleeve shirt with a tie. Um, so I think this is really cute and it will be perfect for the office. And you don't have to tuck it in. So I wanted to give you all an option. My camera is about to die. Let me go get another battery and I'll come back with another look. <laughs> All right, back with the same Dickies pants and then this little light blue shirt. I love the detail on the sleeve. I just think it's so chic. Um, you could totally tuck this in. I probably would, um, but you could even build, like, put a little belt here, like um, a, a, maybe an animal print belt or just like a brown belt would be really pretty with this as well. Um, and then cinch it in and leave it out if you wanted to. I think that'd be really cute. Um, but then it does have like, Longer sleeves, but they have three buttons, which I think is really adorable. Um, but you could totally roll these up or just leave them like this. This is how I probably would wear them so I could push them up easily. Um, but yeah, this one's really cute as well. Give y'all a closer look. So it's very chic. And you could put it like a little necklace here. Oh, I like this a lot. And I kind of feel like a librarian and I'm not mad about it. All right, this is gonna be my plain ride outfit tomorrow for sure. It is so comfortable. So I have this little like marbly print sweater. It's like white and gold marble print. It does have these little poofy sleeves, which are cute. It is a sweater material, so it's nice and warm, but not like too thick and hot. These pants are so stretchy. They just like feel like leggings really. They have pockets, which is nice. And they're like a dress pant material. So this is gonna be perfect for the plane because I'm getting right off the plane and going to a meeting. So perfect, perfect length. This one is really cute. I like it a lot. So now I'm gonna show you a couple more tops with these pants. Here's another top that you don't have to tuck in, you guys. I've told you, I listened and I shopped with you guys in mind. Um, you totally could tuck this in, especially right here in the front. Um, I think that'd be really cute and chic but you don't have to. So the only thing I don't like about this shirt is I love the print, I love the style. It is a little tight on my arms. Now I do carry a lot of weight in my arms, so if you don't, this would probably be fine for you, but this one is a little tight on the arms, but not like uncomfortable, can't wear it tight, it's just a little tight. So what do we think? I think it's chic, very work appropriate, especially because it has been hot here and in Cedar. Okay, so I absolutely love this shirt. I'm wearing it with the same pants. Little flutter sleeve. I love the white and black. And I just think it's really, really nice. You could wear this with those Dickies pants if you wanted to, or you could wear them with a wide leg pant. I think that was probably the way that I'll wear them, honestly. Um, I just have to dig out my wide leg pants. Um, but this is really, really chic, and I think it's really cute for work. So I'll give you a little closer look. A little flutter sleeve. Yeah, this is really cute. And I just tucked it in the front, which again, you don't have to, um, but I just tucked it in to give you a little different look than the last one. Y'all know I could not get through one Amazon haul without a dress. I bring you the shirt dress. This is actually from Amazon's Essentials line. So you, if you didn't know, Amazon has their own line of like products and it's all the Amazon Essentials collection. Um, they also do drops with like different influencers and stuff. So fingers crossed, maybe one day they'll do a drop with me. That would be awesome. You all should tell Amazon you want that. But this is really cute. It has pockets. It has a tie. The really, It's really, really nice material. It has uh, openings on the side, but they're not crazy high, but it just gives you that like nice lay of the, the bottom of it, the skirt part. I love this, you guys. This is going in the suitcase. This is going with me because it's giving me like Miss Honey from Matilda vibes, and I love it and I just think it's really cute and it's super comfortable. So this one is going straight into the suitcase. All 
Okay, work looks are done. We're back with some of some of time looks. Um, so these are the same black shorts I had on earlier. I just got this little pink cropped tank. It's like a spaghetti strap tank, but it does have adjustable straps because you go, your girl, she's compact. So I have to have adjustable straps to make it work. Um, and then I just got this little like chambray, I think that's how you say it, shirt because I love these. I love these to just throw on and then you can take it off and tie it around your waist and it's really cute. Um, and then I like to wear them over swimsuits because we go kayaking and it's nice to have something over you, but like you get hot and so you have your swimsuit on underneath it. So these are just super functional for summer for me and really, really cute. And this would be really cute with these. It's like a whole outfit. This as a whole outfit would be really cute. So these shoes and this look and you're ready to go. And someone is just blowing on my phone. I know y'all been hearing it this whole time. I don't even know who it is. One more shirt to show you guys and then two loungy looks and then we are done with this haul and I'm going to pack and get ready because I fly out at 7 a.m. tomorrow. So let's try on the last few looks. And here we go, just a little green v-neck t-shirt. I have so many of these rims on and I love them because you can just pair them with everything. They can go with leggings, they can go shorts, they can go with leggings if you want to wear leggings with them. So just a little basic and they have it in a ton of colors. This one's cute as well. Here's another from the Amazon Essentials Collection. These are just some PJs. I don't think I've ever had like a legit pair of pajamas like this, like with the button up top and the little pocket and the pan matching pants. I don't think I've ever owned them in my life, honestly. But um, I may be like changed, maybe a changed woman because these are so comfortable. And I'm always freezing. We keep it super cold in this house. So um, these are great. The only thing I wish they had was pockets in the pants. But yeah, we'll put her right here. I guess you could put your phone right there. <laughs> but these are really comfortable. I love the color of them. Um, and then I have one more lounge outfit that I'm probably just going to wear for the rest of the day. So I waited till last to show it to you. Um, but yeah, these are great. These are super comfortable. I'm going to order them in more colors for sure. So I lied. I thought I had a whole lounge outfit for you guys for the last one, but I didn't. I just have these shorts. So I put it on my Slytherin sweatshirt that I got from Etsy. But these are some Amazon Essential shorts. They're just some little like biker shorts, but they're like a shorter length. I normally get like the knee length ones. But I wanted something a little shorter for when I'm like working out in the yard and doing some gardening and it's so hot. So these will be perfect for that. And they're really comfortable and they fit really great. So that is the last of the Amazon haul. And I'm going to pack yet again. So um, I did get, I, told, I showed you my new suitcase. So I'm packing all of that up. And I did get some new packing cubes so that I don't have as much cosmetics with me because I just don't need them. Um, so most of the time, honestly, I don't wash my hair while I'm there because I wash it before I leave and I only wash my hair like once a week anyway. So these will be perfect because I don't need to bring shampoo and conditioner and all that kind of stuff. Um, I did get a new makeup light. Let me find it. Aha. So I had this makeup mirror right and this is what i use to put my makeup on in hotel rooms most of the time it's a nice size it has a light all that kind of stuff i love this it's really dirty don't judge um i love this but twice now it has gotten my bag pulled at tsa um because it is large and it like they can't see what it is um and it like blocks some of the stuff so they have pulled my bag twice now and since i am doing only a carry-on and my backpack I don't want to have to like go through the trouble because I have TSA pre-check and I don't want to have to go through the trouble of them pulling my bag and opening it up and going through it just for a makeup mirror. So I ordered this one off of Amazon. Um, it's much, much smaller. It does have a magnifying mirror on this side and then it has, still has the light. And this is a regular mirror. This is a magnifying mirror. So um, hopefully with it being so much smaller, you can see that it's not going to get my bag pulled. But if you guys have a mirror that you use that you take traveling with you that does not get your bag pulled at TSA, please let me know because I'm over it. All right, y'all saw this pile getting bigger and bigger as this haul went on. So I'm going to put all this stuff away and pack it up and go relax and hang out with my husband before I have to leave him again. So I will check in with you guys in a little bit.
So as I was putting everything up, I found another shirt to show you guys. <laughs> and I was like, oh, well, it's okay. But it's really cute, so I wanted you guys to see it. So um, it is like a true like wrap shirt. So it's like almost you can like open it up, but it has a um, stitch here. And you could even, if you feel like this is like way too risque for work, I mean, you can't see, but like, I can see why some people won't be uncomfortable. You could put totally put like a pin here. Um, but I think this is really cute and I am definitely gonna take it because it's really comfortable um, So I'll get closer so you guys can see all the details, but it has a little Wrap I love the length of the sleeves um, It does have like it's, it's like a wrap at the bottom too. So if you want to wear it with like a statement pant you could um, But yeah, this is really cute and didn't want you guys to miss out on it <laughs> So I have taken a shower and I am waiting. I'm trying to do, to test my um, ovulation every day so I can get an idea of like what my cycle times are and things like that since we're trying to start a family. Um, and I have PCOS. We literally just are trying. So we don't know if this is gonna be a struggle or not, but I wanted to go into like my doctor's appointments and stuff with having tracked for a little while. So, um, I don't know if anybody else has ever done that. I'll show you what I got. So I got these easy at home um, ovulation tests. So you're supposed to take them every day and then there's an app called Premom that you can like take a picture of your results and it can kind of track your cycle days and like tell you when like the, birth, the best chance of you getting pregnant are. Um, it also has some little pregnancy test strips in there too, which is nice. Um, so I've been trying to do that every day and kind of track my cycle, but um, I didn't, I forgot them when I went to Cedar last week, so it kind of got me off track. So um, definitely after this next cycle, I will I will try to do it every single day since I will be at home for a while. But yeah, so that's one thing I've been doing or trying to do. Um, I haven't done much since I talked to you last. I did take a shower and wash my hair um, so that I can dry it tonight before um, I get on my plane tomorrow. Um, and dry it and then I'll style it in the morning when I get ready because I'm trying to get ready and do my makeup and like be ready when I get on the plane that way when I get off the plane I can go straight to my meeting but I do have a hell of a layover tomorrow in Chicago so that's what I've been doing I do love the suitcase I got way more than the last suitcase um, I can pretty much fit off I think I'm gonna be able to fit everything in it without having to put anything in my book bag um, so I take my everything in my book bag at my a third grader everything about backpack <laughs> um so last time i had to like put my makeup and toiletries into my backpack because they just would not fit in that little suitcase so i think i'm gonna be able to pack everything in this suitcase and that way i can take my personal computer as well as my work computer and my ipad in my backpack and have plenty of room for all that stuff so that is what i have been doing and laundry and just trying to get everything settled for me to be gone again this week um, but yeah, so I am going to go ahead and end this vlog here. I know it was a short one and there wasn't a lot going on, but I want to get this Amazon stuff up for you guys, um, and show you guys what I picked out because there's some really cute stuff in there, I thought. So I'm going to end this vlog here and then maybe I'll do a travel vlog this time, um, from Cedar. So I will try to do that. And if not, I will see you guys next weekend. So thank you so much for watching and do not forget to subscribe. Hit that thumbs up if you like this video so I know that you like the vlogs and you want to see more of them. And yeah, thanks guys. I'll see you in the next one.